Hey everybody, welcome back to Final Fantasy VII, played by Carnivorin. I am Carnivorin, and now, so this episode is just after we leave Coral Prison. There's a few things to wrap up, and I'm just going to go over them uh, as quickly as I possibly can. Uh, hopefully it won't be too too long. Uh, so the first thing to do once you get the buggy is to uh, just roll around in the desert for a little bit until you get into a fight. There's a certain enemy that you are, in fact, looking for. And these are, in fact, not it. And here it is! I believe this is a hippogriff? No, this is a harpy. Which doesn't make any sense, but this is what I'm looking for. Uh, first, let's see if we can manipulate it. Oh, we can! We can manipulate him. And we're gonna use Aqualung on our party. Then we're gonna, then we're gonna cure our party. <laughs> Bang! Oh, make sure your party's full health <laughs> before you do that. By the way, uh, because then they will learn Aqualung. Uh, the two enemy skill users will learn the new powerful enemy skill, which is the Aqualung enemy skill. It's think of it as the water version of Beta, which is fantastic. And then we'll have Tifa. Beat the ever loving daylights out of him. And we'll have him claw himself when he wakes up from uh, his uh, manipulation. So there you go, that's how you get the Aqualon enemy skill. Yeah, okay, cool. So you can actually drive the buggy into the desert. And run around in the desert again. Ah, this is an Alaskan bullworm. Landworm. Uh, these enemies might possibly get good experience. Let's see. Let's see what we can get out of this big guy. I'll uh, I'll just speed up to when we actually get the item, whatever the hell it is. So another use for the manipulate skill is if you can manipulate the enemy, that enemy doesn't get a turn. And you control it for as long as the enemy stays uh, under your control. As long as you don't hit it, it will stay under your uh, your control. So, another use for manipulate is if you can get a big guy like this. Actually, you can manipulate it, uh, but you might need a, a um, an item to increase your manipulate powers. Uh, That's usually what you need on, on bigger enemies. So I'm going to keep uh, trying to steal from it. But, like, say you're trying to steal from an enemy and the enemy keeps hitting you like this one keeps doing. Um, Turbo Ether, wow, that's a good, that's a good steal. That's a, a strategy, is to manipulate an enemy and then just steal from the enemy or with the other two characters over and over again in order to get uh, the, uh, the item you want without having to take hit after hit after hit. But sometimes it's nice to take the damage just to get your limit breaks up so you can use them and, um, and you know, to use the limit breaks to learn further limit breaks. You can find a Cactar enemy. Now these enemies are good because they give you the most amount of, um, I think, AP that you can get in this uh, point in the game. And I believe they're weak against um, they're weak against um, water magic, if I remember correctly. And they run away <laughs> if they feel threatened. All right, finally, I ran into another cactuar. And I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to get him with, with special tricks. Trick number one: use the limit break. I probably should use finishing touch, but whatever. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. Trick number two: throw. Oh, I got him! Defeated. Trick number one worked. I hit the limit break at that time. So there you go. That's that's a cactar, and you get one AP and one experience. I wasted 45 minutes. Oh my God! Look at all the money. I did not waste any time. <laughs> Holy shit. So cac that's the thing about Cactros. I knew they gave you something. They give you 10,000? Gil? 
if you can hit them, which is really hard to do. Okay, so there we go. I recorded it. That's how. That's that's the thing you could do. After running around the desert for an hour, you you, you make it. Uh, you can make ten thousand gil. All right. So now that we have our riches from fighting the cactuar, and we have the enemy skill Aqualong, now we are going to head over to um, Costa del Sol <clears throat> with the buggy. Cross the river. And actually, we're going to stop here on these beaches and see if we can get into a fight on these beaches here. And this is exactly what we're looking for, these enemies here. What we're going to do is manipulate one. Make sure we don't die. Oh, missed it. Okay, let's try manipulating again. Got it. Okay, now just need to wait uh, for clouds. There we go. And then we're going to use the big guard on our party. This is one of the more powerful enemy skills in the game. And what it does is it puts haste, uh, M barrier, and barrier on your entire party. Uh, which uh, is the best, like, defensive uh, ability you can do. And let's just for fun use Rommel. Judgment Bolt! Just to show you this. Some lightning strikes the ground. Creating a mountain. And Ramu, otherwise known as Gandalf, is on top. And strikes the enemies with a huge lightning bolt. Decimating them all. Very cool. Very cool, man. This is the first game to do that with the summons to make them so cinematic and, and awesome. And it's a trend that lasted until today. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to drive the buggy straight into Costa del Sol. Uh, before we do anything else, let's see uh, if Johnny has anything new to say. I'm just curious. Let's see what he says. Hehehe, <laughs> my woman and me are getting along pretty good. But I'm such a pitiful waste. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's good to know more about your backstory, Johnny. So this is actually a point in the game where you can go back to these areas. It hurts when you kick me with your bare feet talking to me? I think she... I think it's... Um, I think she means it hurts when you kick the ball uh, with your bare feet. That's, that's what she, the kid's trying to say. Uh, let's see if there's anything new here. If this is your idea of flirting, forget it. I do fine as it is. I don't know if I'm, if I'm talking to the girl or the guy there. See the wind and the sun, don't you just love the outdoors? It always puts me back on track. Always the same story. Women never pay attention to me. Yeah, it's the girl. Hey, good timing. Would you mind putting lotion on me? With pleasure! I did not know you could even do this. Uh, thank you. Hey, loosen up a bit. That probably makes the girls mad. <laughs> I bet. I wonder if we keep doing that if we get some kind of response. Let's see what the people at the bar have to say. Hey, I thought you'd drop by. Same one. Okay, this is all the same. So 
now we're gonna run over here. We're gonna talk to this guy. Thinking of being stowaways? It's a hundred gills union. Give it to me and I'll put in a good word with the captain. Hey up! Alright, come on this way. So now we get on the ship. And we can head back to the other continent across the sea. So we see Junior still has the uh, the uh, President Will Gonna Make Me Music going on. So now what you can actually do is you can talk to this guy. How about a ship taxi? Uh, one way out of Junior. Sure, call him. Roger, hey taxi! So this is cool. So he talks to this guy and he calls a, a helicopter for you. You get in the helicopter? and you can take it outside of Junior. So it gives you like a little fast travel uh, option to get out of the, the city and back to the world map. Which is super awesome. Very cool little detail. So now you have your buggy and you're on this side of the planet, right? So that's cool. So now what you can do is you can travel Along the plains of this area, looking for a very specific battle. And here it is! So now what you want to do is manipulate this enemy. The Zemazet, I think it's called? Yep, Zemzalet. Okay, we got it. First shot, which is fantastic. And you want to have it use its White Wind ability on your party. And then you will learn the enemy ability White Wind. So then you can have the Zenzelet use Thunderbolt on itself, and then you can, let's kick its butt. There we go. White Wind and Big Guard are two of the best um, defensive uh, enemy skills in the game. White Wind will, who, the character who uses it, will heal the heal the other two characters the same amount of HP that they have uh, and um, cure any status effects, which is unbelievable, like amazing. It's an amazing ability. A lot of people miss out on it the first time because you have to actually manipulate this enemy in order to get them to do it. Other enemy skills like you can get by accident, but White Wind and Big Guard, uh, you have to use the manipulate materia in conjunction with enemy skill. But then once you get it, the rest of the game becomes... Not ridiculously easy, but a lot easier. Like, they're good skills to have. So now another order of business that we have to attend to is... See this river here? We want to go down here to where the river is shallow, cross the river, and then get out of the buggy, and then go into this cave here. In this cave, there is a sleeping old man. Large materia needs high level materia. Large materia needs high level. Large materia needs high level. Large materia needs high level. Large materia. Okay, so there's a trick to this old guy, and I'm gonna see if I can get him to explain the trick. Because I believe he does in his sleep. Well, I'll explain the trick. Alright, that should be 355 battles fought. Let's see if he'll acknowledge that. Who are you? Hmm, I guess it was fate that I woke up and met you. Here. Received Mithril. You already fought 355 times. That's exactly what we're looking for. So we fought 355 battles. I we had what we came for. Uh, now let's move on to the next piece of business that we have to clear up here. Fort Condor. Alright, so we're back at Fort Condor, and this is just a simple Fort Condor ba battle. Uh, the Shinra troops have attacked one time since you were here, so we're getting a little short on funds. We have 12,000 gil right now. Perfect timing, they just are out the quarter. Okay, ready. Uh, so we're just gonna do this battle real quick. I'll speed it up. It, there's nothing really uh, 
super interesting here. Uh, the one attack was uh, with Mr. Dolphin. After I got in the water with Mr. Dolphin, where I said I'm not doing all these stupid battles, uh, that's the attack that we missed. Uh, so I'm just going to win this real quick, and then we'll uh, get back to... Uh, to business. Right? Right. Da 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 and once again, my keen tactical mind has won us the battle before Condor. Woo, that was good, but Shimmer's troops will be back. Be sure and scout the other as well. We don't know when they'll attack again. We have six allies left. Here's your money. Oh, and I found this. The tink tincture. But those are those are ethers. I don't know why the uh, the um, oh, message there was incorrect. Uh, so I'm just going to give him... Three thousand for the next battle. And then... Leave him be. Because, uh, I won't be paying that much attention to what's happening here. <laughs> Alright. More, uh, loose ends. Okay, this is the last bit of Roundup uh, before we move on with the game. Uh, of course, in this area, there's the giant snake, which you can get beta from for your second enemy skill. Uh, but we're not actually here looking for that. We're looking for something far more useless. And I'll, uh, I'll cut to when I find it for you guys. Okay, we found the enemies we're actually looking for. It's these, the Moos. We're going to try to um, manipulate them and see if we can get what we want out of them. Oh, didn't work. Oof. Can we, uh, can we not manipulate them? I'm pretty sure we can. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe we can't manipulate them. Alright, well if you can't manipulate them, the idea is then to get them just to a low level. Or a low HP. I'm gonna keep trying it, but uh, I'm pretty sure it would have worked by now. There it is, L4 Suicide, that's what we want. So what L4 Suicide does is if your character is... if their level is divisible by 4, uh, they will um, get hit with a bunch of different status effects and take a ton of damage. Uh, so Tifa and Eris level happen to be divisible by 4. So they are... Uh, down for the count. <laughs> uh, uh, but Clouds is not, so he is completely immune. So he's going to get them back up. And then uh, we're going to finish the fight and get... Uh, and we'll have that enemy skill. Let's just, <laughs> let's just get cast Beta to get us out of here. We'll use the old Anim Bomb. Go away, leave us alone! There you go. Okay, so now we have the enemy skill L4 Suicide. So what that is going to do is we're also gonna we're gonna continue to run around this area, but this time we're gonna run around Jacobo tracks and look for Jacobo. There we go, we found one, hopefully. Alright, so. Here's a Chocobo. We're gonna feed it these special greens, apparently. Which is something I didn't know you had to do. Mimint greens? And because it's with these two elements, it's... Sh elephants, it should be... Its level should be divisible by four. So we'll see if this works. Apparently you have to feed it specifically those greens in order to get it to use the attack we're looking for. So let's see. Let's see what happened. There it is! 
It worked. So you have to give it mint greens, and then it will use Chocobuckle on you. In retaliation, uh, Chocobuckle is a special skill that does damage based on how many times you run from battle. Uh, so, like, if you don't run a lot, it's pretty useless. But if you run from battle uh, 1,111 times, when you get your HP to max, which is 9,999, you can cast it twice on one character, and it will set their HP to 7,777. When that happens, the character will go into all Lucky 7s and do just tons and tons of damage to the enemy. Uh, you can also run 2,222 times uh, and get the same effect with only having to cast it once, but then you have to run from another 1,111 battles, which is very, very time-consuming. Like, it took me 40 minutes to run from, like, 11. So, just, just FYI. But that's how you get the skill. Uh, now that you guys know that, I can move on to uh, the next part of the game. Uh, and we'll cut to that right now. Alright, so now we're back at Junion, and we want to go back and take the ship uh, to the other continent, right? So once again, we drive the buggy into the city. And we're at this town with uh, Priscilla and her grandparents, right? So I think we... let's actually... let's go talk to Priscilla. Because I think you find if you talk to her, you find out she's got a little crush on Cloud. We'll just sneak into this child's room and climb into her bed. No, that tickles. No, stop. Mr. Dolphin. Yeah, she's dreaming about the dolphin. <laughs> Mr. Dolphin. Mr. Dolphin. There is a point where she mentions that that she's, um... What do you call? That she's got a crush on Cloud, but I forget when that is. Maybe her grandparents say. There's nothing new here. Alright, so now you can talk to that soldier and bribe him, and you'll get a... You'll be able to use the, um... Actually, let's, uh, let's do that. If you want to get on the elevator of that belly, give me ten gil. Okay. Hurry up and get in. So now this is the elevator, we take this all the way up and get to the Junion, uh, heliport. Where Cloud first, uh, climbed the tower. Or, alternatively, we can go to where the dolphin is, because Cloud still has the whistle. And blow the whistle to call the dolphin, and the dolphin will take us directly on the ship, I believe. Uh, to the next area. All I wanted was to be a pilot. It used to leave me speechless watching the high wind in the sunset. New around here? <laughs> These guys are still practicing their move. Someday I'll get used to my special pose in real battle. Okay, very good. Same here. I'll keep practicing until then. That's funny. So yeah, things in Junior have changed. We can check it out, I guess, while we're here. I think some of the shops have uh, different items now. And I think now you can actually pull the alarm. Alright, so you can actually ride this elevator now and get to a different part of the city that you couldn't get to before, but a lot of guards have just have it blocked off. And uh, there's really nothing you can do about... Do there now, nothing to get, nothing to learn, nothing to gain. Now, if you run under here, you'll see these guys training. Let's talk to them. Hey civilians, stay out of our training. If you pull this, you'll get an alarm. Go around them and stay out of their way. Now, I think when you pull the alarm, you can actually fight enemies in this area. Yes. And the enemies that you fight here are super tough, if I remember correctly. So I'm just gonna get ready for a battle. <laughs> I'll summon uh, Ramu to get rid of these machines. Hey, 
think they're not that bad, actually. But that might be because of the barrier and she's in the back. So if those of you who don't remember, uh, lightning actually does extra damage to machine enemies, which these are. So you should put them pretty good. Still didn't destroy them though. So these guys, yeah, these guys are taking a beating. One down. Two down. Three down. There we go. Now these enemies, because they're higher level, I believe they give you more reward. Yeah, that's a lot of AP for this level and a lot of experience. So if you want, you can kind of sit around this area and uh, fight the stronger enemies and um, just level up your party or get more AP or more money or whatever you want. I'm gonna see if I could. There's a sweeper enemy that I'd like to see. Here you go, this is the sweeper enemy I was looking for. Now, what's annoying here is I can't use Fury Ban on the whole party because Cloud is separated from the rest of us. Let's try to steal from this thing. Oh, actually, it does work on the whole party. Okay, cool. I'm gonna try to steal from the sky to see if I can get anything worthwhile. W machine gun. Alright, let's kick his ass. I think the W machine gun is just uh, a weapon that Barrett has already. But, by defeating this enemy, you get uh, another good amount of AP and experience, and I think for them, yeah, for the sweepers you get a lot of guild. So it's just something you can do uh, if you want to make your party super strong. Uh, of course you don't have to to beat the game, it's not necessary, but it can be fun. Uh, if you're the kind of person that likes uh, to completely, you know, destroy a game. We're back in the Gold Saucer area. And we're encounter we've encountered another enemy that has an enemy skill. Uh, this one is less useful. <laughs> and I'll show you why in a second. So Jokers have the, the Roulette uh, enemy skill, uh, which randomly instantly kills an enemy or an ally. Uh, which, as you can imagine, is probably less useful than any other uh, enemy skill in the game for its uh, random uh, randomness and uh, and your inability to actually do anything with it. Now, I'm pretty sure I could have sworn that you could manipulate them and have them do it, but uh, I don't know. Apparently not. I might need the Hypno Crown, actually. Uh, but that's another enemy skill you can get. I didn't show you me getting it there, because I don't actually care. <laughs> uh, so then we're going to head to this area. Uh, this um, river next to Gold Saucer. We're going to cross over. And we're going to head to this lone uh, house over here. 
get out of the buggy and go in? No one's here. We'll come back later. Ah, so we can't actually do this yet. Interesting. Okay, so if that's unavailable to us, this area here is the Gongaga area. Uh, you'll notice there's this, like, wonderful timing. <laughs> You'll notice there's like these annoying enemies. <laughs> they got in my way. I think these are called Grand Horns. Something there's something about these enemies that's special. I forget what it is. I think it's perhaps an item that they have. Okay, steel. No, I don't need it. Maybe it's how flammable they are. Yeah, that might have been it. Alright, as I was saying, this uh, area that we're around right now is the Gongaga area. And you can actually see there's like a. what looks like a ruin of some sort? Or some kind of like uh, explosion that happened. And that is actually the town of Gongaga, uh, which we will explore next time on Carnivore Plays Final Fantasy VII. Once again, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time.